What's up, folks? TK back after a one day break, I guess, from StarCraft. Uh, I guess I wasn't feeling it yesterday. It was just time just blew by. I don't know what happened after work. I just I don't know where my time went, but anyway, I'm here now. I'll try to finish this uh, mission 17. Doubt. Cooper goes to Amberlin to rescue a loose ant character ship. And the reason why I named that place Amberlin was because I was thinking of this girl called Amber who was my cousin's like best friend until you know when you grow up you separate with your childhood friend or something like that. I don't know. That it was back in elementary. Fifteen years ago. Now that you're here, let us get this briefing started. That's Commander Reynolds. A few hours ago, I received a d dispatch call from a loose official in Amberlin. This is Recruit Master Absalom Bobinu, representing Lusk. My crew and I require immediate assistance. I repeat, we require immediate assistance. Currently, the Zog experience have destroyed all of our escort ships. My crew and I are stuck somewhere in Amberlin, waiting for immediate rescue evacuation. If anyone is hearing this, please contact me through the transmission number 543C1A. I repeat, cuts off. Unfortunately, the transmission machine appears to be malfunctioning on their end. I could not get in contact with them. You want us to get to that place and rescue them, huh, Commander? Precisely, Warrant Officer. Since you and the Lieutenant showed remarkable success in Banks, Mission 16, I want you to, to handle this mission. Hehe, <laughs> man. Our commsat station shows that they are at the edge of Amberlin's landmass with their cargo ship, the Eiffel ship, fully functional. However, the experiments are blocking all of their route from escaping. Route, route, whatever you want to pronounce it. Pardon me, Commander, but the experiments... Yes, Lieutenant. The experiments are most likely from the traitor's side. What makes it worse is that the loose are dotting our control of the Zerg which is further deteriorating our alliance with them due to past incidents involved with the experiments. A call back to Mission 11. Deterioration. Another thing I need to mention, my engineers have successfully upgraded the modification beacon for our firebats. Previously, it would take the firebats from 1 to 6 seconds to be enhanced into infernos. Now, they will instantly be equipped and suited as infernos once they are in position of the beacon. Convenience sake. In any case, report to me once you rescue the Eiffel ship's crew members. Commander Reynolds, out. Thanks, General Duke. Hey, Kevin, you're not going to tell our commander about the Zerg? Not yet. However, I'm planning to tell Captain Kinsley about the Zerg. I have a feeling he'll listen to me. From commander to captain. But not our commander, eh? <laughs> and yes, let's get this started. This is my second time I just played this and got wrecked. Underestimating my my own my crafted mission here. I gotta play more careful. Anyway, first of all, I'm gonna get my resource loads here. Then bring my ghost. To the safety of our inner base. Okay, there we go. Wow, that ain't good. Damn, the experiments are on to us. Stay in groups. Do not be scared to venture out. Oh boy, oh boy, this isn't good. We lost a ghost. We're, we're not supposed to lose a ghost. Uh, what if? But anyway, the reason why I got I lo uh, I lost. Uh, I had to start over because I attacked the Zerg AI over here, their uh, secondary base, which is like over here because they keep building and sending their units. While you know the Zerg's main base is over here. If you watch my non computer video, video, you you know, but. I got too hasty and I actually just one two three four five six seven I actually um 
chose opted to use body units to initiate the attack over here which was a big big mistake because basically how should I say this basically the body units are practically worthless in this mission I mean they're good for defense but other than that it's, it's, I, I don't know it's like I could have done better, you know what I mean? Like, they're too squishy, and then there's also, like, enemy Terran here, the traitors, indicated as the same color, which you'll know why if you saw my interlude mission, but. Yeah, it, it's just. I, I, don't, I don't know, guys. I. Maybe I was just. I wanted to be optimistic and see if I can clear this area out with just bio units, but. Too squishy. Which is what happened. But anyway, we can also upgrade our fire bat into infernos like instantly now. Like just now. Because I figured I figured um the the previous triggers where you have to wait six seconds. Any player who knows like how to make maps or is like knowledgeable about like weight triggers in general will just press escape and you know just immediately get the inferno from the beacon which i also showed in my bonus map bonus one map and the uh, mission 16 one and i thought eh, maybe i shouldn't actually you know do that so i just completely removed it and and yeah so I mean, because if you press escape during the weight trigger... Okay, here's the enemy turn here. Stay ahead, strong soldiers. They are not part of the organization anymore. Damn, traitors. I should have known they would be here as well. They must be the ones who sent the experiments to us. Anyway, what was I saying? Something about weight triggers because if you like, like in the previous mission and the bonus one mission, like instead of, like instead of waiting six seconds, if you press escape, then you just automatically get the you automatically like you know upgrade the fire into infernos without hearing the the voice sounds from the inferno. Like you wanna come to my barbecue party or whatever that inferno says. I actually like using that for the WAV file. Kind of, kind of unique in my opinion. But yeah, that's the reason why. And then it's for convenience sake. Instead of just you know lazily waiting for six seconds, just it should just automatically upgrade them. Fast paced, you know. I mean, it's not always good to have you know fast paced stuff, especially in an old game like this. But you know, people disagree nowadays. Modern RTS games are so like fast paced, action paced, like there's no actual build up to the army anymore. Like, you know, take for example StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void, like you start with like how many workers? Like 12 workers or something? As opposed to like starting from six from the pre like prior expansions, Heart of the Swarm and uh, Wings of Liberty in StarCraft 2. And even before that, their predecessors, StarCraft 1 and Brood War, you just start with 4 SCVs, or 4 probes or drones, whatever race you chose. And you have to start from there, but it's not that's not the case anymore. But then again, RTS is in a very casual like gaming scene, you know. It's it's considered more of an esport nowadays, which is you know I mean, I'm fine with that, but nowadays it's mostly mobile, like Dota 2, you know, what else? LOL, Han maybe in the past, but not anymore, RIP, and you know, and other stuff, but. But anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a command center soon. The reason why I'm making so many Goliaths is because. I am preparing for the battle cruiser attack. Okay, good thing our infernos have two base armor, take like three damage from Zerglings. Unfortunately, our medic got damaged, but that's fine. 
I want to expand here. Sir, our scanner shows six enemy battle cruisers heading to this base. Fortify our defenses. So what that basically means is it's time to get our Goliaths ready. And our two goals. Not well, not two goals, but you know, you know, you know what I talk about. Oh gosh, that was bad timing, actually. So good thing I didn't lose my tank. Oh gosh, the I need more collides. Okay, there's the first one. All right, that's good. Okay, now we we'll, we'll need a medic. We'll load in our injured Cooper here, and our guys can take care of them. Hopefully, we locked down four battle cruisers, so they should do the job. And we're already, we're one up, one art, we're one weapons upgraded. So, and we okay. I want to expand there for more gas. Oh gosh. That's annoying, but anyway, yeah, that's good. So this this attack pattern is obviously, um, you know, triggered. Anyway, let's heal Mr. Cooper here. We'll, we'll keep making, keep it. Oh gosh, we need a lot of stuff here. So yeah, this our initial base is is it is kind of cramped, but we'll have to do with that. Make do with that. We'll leave two infernos in here just in case. And we it's time to move like four some of our SCs there. Maybe bring one SCV here and repair our units. Like so. We'll also get nukes sometime soon, but for, for now I wanna prioritize on um, getting gas and whatnot. And more upgrades obviously. We're, we're, we're losing gas fast. We're, 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 we're mining very efficiently here, but it's just... It's still from, you know, it's just from one geyser, that's what. And we also need to make a bunker here, because they're about to attack. And we also get access to this modification beacon, which... Becomes, becomes usable only if we make a command center near this expansion. Same goes for the expand over here, which... I scanned wrong, but it, I'll show you know a bit. Okay, and it's also good to make SCVs. And an occasional barracks, maybe. Okay, our gas mining should be faster now. I'm just gonna fortify here for a sec. Cause the Teotaran, um The Teotaran as in not not us, but not the player, but the AI actually uses insane difficulty after a certain point passes. And of course, um that's attributed to the fact that I wanted to make this mission a lot harder than it's supposed to be. So they start off from difficult level. Then they bump up the difficult setting a bit into his insane. So the enemy Terrans, the traitors, will be very relentless. Anyway, we want to make more factory here just in, just cause. And a uh, supply depot, obviously. And ocular implants for nukes. Or maybe not. Probably get uh, spider mines, but yeah, the Zerg AI are um, difficult level as well. So this mission is a bit hard because they're allied together because these experiments are from the traitor side, unfortunately. And since the events like took place before, and you know, with all the shenanigans about the experiments, the the righteous us. 
won't be utilizing experiments. Because they learn learn it the hard way. It's a damn shame. Using, you know, Terran and Zerg combo is pretty pretty strong. Like as evidenced by the UED, but anyway. Yeah, we'll get more ghosts here. Load up this inferno. Get a spider mine and it's time to save. I'm doing a lot better. Cause I'm not I didn't rush like attacking here. While I was rushing like bum rushing there, like I got like um How should I say? Okay, save that bunker just just in time. It's a good micro right there. Good decision, I mean. Cause I didn't uh, like bum rush over here, and when I was rushing over here, like previously with my bio units, I was getting bamboozled over here by both Zerg and Terran. So it's just bad timing overall. But once we're fully ready, I'll I'll go and do something about it. Anyway, we're looking good here. We can't make comps at unfortunately. I think I meant to do that just to. Troll the player once again. DK trolling player since 2010, I guess. That's when I started, you know, getting more heavy into StarCraft 1 map making. It all started with John's militia, then I scrapped that, and then I started, I guess, with. Uh, what was it? Was it a random mission project? I think I started that first. Anyway, let's lift this barracks here, cause it's pretty worthless. Oh gosh, that's not good. Alright, three SCB should be fine. Alright, help them out. Anyway, let's make more tanks and yada yada yada. Alright. Good shiz. I actually bring this medic here in this fight. I mean, we can also use um, Luke first. Jeez, this is, yeah, that enemy Terran is gonna be very annoying. They're our main priority later on. And in order to. Oh gosh, I lost the ghost. And in order to get to. Um, In order to get through, get to over here, we have to bypass the. We have to bypass the turn base, and we're not even. We don't actually need to. We don't even need to destroy the turns. Our objective is to just go over here. But that's the Eiffel ship, by the way, the extended unit. Uh, that's only available by utilizing. By utilizing, uh, advanced map editor. Okay, I'll leave this ghost here. Yeah, I'll leave one Goliath over here. Okay, it's time to save. Luckily, the AI doesn't like. The AI doesn't use um, what's his face? Play. Not yet, I guess. And they'll keep sending reinforcements to here. Because their main base is like situated over here. Which we'll have to destroy later on. That's for the additional mission objective.
And of course, we can keep upgrading our units. We can upgrade four times for our, uh, for our mech ground, three times for air. And what else? And five times for buy units. And apparently, I got a tag over here, but not too. I'm not gonna worry about here yet. The reason why I'm not bringing G GM is because he was a man of action last mission. So she needs. She needs to take a break. You know? Anyway, let's inch, inch forward. And while that happens, we'll set up some spider mines here and there. And we also want to take over this expand as well. Okay, what do we need to repair? Whoa, that was close. Alright, looks good. What about over here? Keep making units. Okay, here comes Teal. Yeah, there are spider mice get to go of that. For the time being. Okay. Play more careful here. Alright, we got rid of that, I guess. Got a bunker here. It's getting a bit. It's bit. It's getting a bit uh, more. How should I say? More um, crazy. Okay, I think I think I lost uh, an SCV, but that's fine. Oh, okay, never. He was over here. Still have a glow, so we can we can probably use him and nuke the hell out of there. Okay, let's make more glides, more tank here. Need more spider mines here, to be honest. Make another glow. Okay, where else? There's more sucky colonies here. I placed a lot of annoying colonies here. Okay, we have our inferno. We can grow some units over here. Okay, we'll leave two glides here. Or like that. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it looks good, it looks good. There's also an expand here, but we need a dropship for that one. But I'm not gonna use that, I'm gonna expand here, obviously. The Zero will try to like come here like frequently and we take this expand. Okay, we have our Okay, we'll set up some. Okay, see, like, look at him. Alright, let's see. Okay, we need to prepare everything here. Lost our Valiant. Inferno. It was, it was never meant to be.
Alright, so what's going on here? Oh gosh, this this is not what I had in mind. Gosh, I lost my comp set, huh? Alright, let's use our privateer. Yeesh. Okay, looks like I'll need my... Barracks here? And I want that gas, so I need to expand there. We need to set up fortifications here. Make comp set, make bunker, make medic, make marine. Keep upgrading. I'll eventually upgrade air too, but but for now it's just just staying over here and you know keep just chill chill a bit. Okay, here they come. I need to bring Cooper there. Alright. Quite lose that fly, yeah. Okay, they're starting to send. Oh, uh, they're starting to send battle cruisers. So I gotta be a bit more careful than this. Anyway, let's transfer some of our SVs there. And I'll make more. I'll eventually make more. Hmm. More stuff. More buildings. There's another expand that we can take, which is like. Okay, there's any more units like right here, and this is the beacon that I was talking about. You need to have a command center to access that. Which I'll start moving out now. And since this place is very, very undefended, I'll need to make barracks and, you know, just set up more fortification. And now I'll leave my heroes. And hopefully have one SCV, like, in this base. And then I'll maybe start upgrading five units. And secure my expander. Look at that. <laughs> and then if you follow the asphalt road, there's a road here, but there's an unconnected bridge, which will never, ever able to like we're never able to get through so we have to just bypass this turn base a city if you will all right I'll bring one more SCV here there's they're starting to use spawn brewings, which is very bad for me, but what am I gonna do? Okay, we're gonna keep making, we're gonna keep upgrading bio, hopefully. And how am I losing minerals? What? Uh, 
Alter, oh, bist du erst hier gekommen? A big crap load of spider mines, since Teal's gonna keep attacking. And when I say Teal, I mean the enemy Teal. Okay, repair, repair. And then make a command center, maybe. Or get plagued. Jeez, the defilers are hiding there. Okay, we'll heal. Yeah, kill that. There we go. Okay, looks good here. We'll keep repairing. Okay, I need a ghost too, actually. Do I have my new? Oh. Our marines can't even can't even attack from with with the bunkers. Maybe we need to get. <laughs> Shit, this is what happens. All right, let's see. Where can I put my barracks? Right, yes, right there. Something. All right. My brain is doing like two damage to the defiles because they're like three upgraded. And whoa, what? Alright, looks good, looks good. Lost the supply depot, but unfortunately that that's that's bound to happen sometimes. Okay, we're gonna set up there. Our marine did good over there, we're gonna get stim too just in case now. Reason why I'm not massing battle cruisers is because they have they also use uh they also use lockdown, so it's gonna be a pain in the butt seeing as how our medics don't have restoration. And you just heard that beep, so that's to indicate that we can use a modification beacon now to upgrade our infernos, but it all depends on the player if you really wanna use you know infernos or not bio bio units, but it's not very it's not really recommended. Unless you're a hardcore Starcraft one player then by all means you know but okay let's see it okay oh yeah I gotta make another ghost because I lost one yeah we have our nuke here oh gosh we're almost supply blocked actually we are supply blocked now And eventually I'll get gas, but for now, not really. Okay, who needs repair? This guy needs repair. This needs a repair. And this needs a repair. Let's be meticulous. Is that a word? Okay, this private will just chill for now. We'll make more spider mines to deter their aggression. Actually, these three can actually, um... Oh, and then this area is narrow, but we can't actually get through it over, so we have to loop the loop around like this. Anyway, first of all... Did I lose a science vessel? Really?
So we'll just start nuking the hell out of there. It's a long ass road, but we have to just make it. And then there's a little fortification here we can take. Like so. Okay, I need a combat station here actually. Okay, that was good. We can also take this expand, seeing as how there's also another modification beacon that we can work with. And it's, it's a long time since I saved, so I'll save now. And yeah, we're looking good. I might need to make another gas. Just basically make more factors. Okay, let's go, go, go. Okay, that's one hot key. This is hot key three. All right. Okay, what is it now? Oh gosh. Gotta run. Okay, our, our three Goliaths can handle that much though. So. Okay, we're getting locked down to oblivion here. The only one more upgrade while we have superior upgrade number advantage. Okay, looks good. Okay, Nemo SCVs here. They're doing fine here. They're doing good here. I didn't hockey this. What? Alright, let's, let's regroup. Okay, how are you holding up? Probably get a private here. Okay, you're not screw waiting. Go, we'll make a ghost here. We need a immediate heal. Okay. Okay, here comes the experiments trying to help their master. Doesn't matter if the enemy race have cloak or whatever. No, not like this. All right, I'll just wait here. They're getting more angry. Need more spider mines on on the double. Please. 
and if you follow this road here it's gonna be disconnected see so anyway it's been almost 30 31 minutes 36 it's been almost 40 minutes okay I saw spider mine sound but we'll see you with our ghost okay let's just scan the whole map looks good to nuke the hell out of there They're sending more. I mean, this is why we have we have um, privateers just in case. But okay, I saw gardens, so I gotta be careful with over here. And more guys. Basically. Oh gosh, my mouse, my mouse. My mouse acting weird. Yeah, I saw us. I saw us. Yeah, okay, 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 we can clear out with this. Okay, how's, what's, what's up over here? Goodness, they started expanding. Okay, we can't. We have our we have our upper advantage. Oh, we lost more of what? need to do right now is actually get another nuclear silo so I'll just destroy that get another ghost probably 
And uh, while that's happening, just pull back to over here. I'll make a tank over here. I also need to worry about that actually, but Dude, look at that. As long as Teal doesn't ex continuously expand, then I'll be fine. Okay. This is taking longer than I anticipated, but oh, oh gosh, didn't know that was burning. Uh, I need to worry about this too, actually. So, get my second ghost out, or, or if he's even alive. Alright, looks good. Just need a ghost. Yeah, I'll just wait for that second nuke and a ghost. Two nukes can destroy any anything in StarCraft 1. Doesn't matter if you have 10 bazillion HP, it'll just reduce you to nothing. Anyway, what's Teal doing? Okay, we'll just nuke together. I keep building units. And have this Wraith and Privateer just chill, I guess. Or maybe they can start disassembling that top base over there. Okay, where's our... Okay, we have our second science vessel. Okay, so that's where the science vessel's been all this time. <laughs> Clumsy on me. And yeah, let's do this. My mouse is acting very weird, so... Gotta Probably plan this accordingly, just nuke this whole area and it's GG. Good. Yeah, of course, keep pumping out units. Okay, we'll lose like 16, we'll lose 16 supplies shortly, so. Okay, it's time to move in. Okay, well that's happening. Okay. Boom. Did I use my science vessel? Really?
I need to destroy the starports here, actually. This is where I need to have like bio units, like sustaining bio units, or we can keep attacking because they're very weak. It's the battle cruisers that I need to worry about, to be honest. And sea snakes. All right, I might have to look back and see how how I can do this. Try again. Make sure they don't lock down our butts here. Okay, it looks good. And more nukes, obviously. At a command center. At two ghosts. Like Valley 2, like over here, I guess. I just needed a better micro earlier. My, I was I was like one day. How come they're not dying? You know, like they sh with this many units, they should have been overrun by by my superior like forces. As for over here, just gonna just gonna see what happens here. Okay, we have a ghost. Oh, 
gosh, that took. Okay. Whatever. Okay, we need to get rid of those starports. And factories. Yeah, so I need to attack over here first. Anyway, how are you going over here? Okay, we repelled the Zerg earlier, so we should have no problems whatsoever. Okay, we need more glides. The Zerg are relentless, obviously. Oh gosh, Guardians once again. How are we doing over here? They're, they're fine. Like like I thought I need more air units. Or I might have to save and load back? If I don't destroy them right now, they're gonna Tears gonna keep rebuilding, so I need to just keep keep the pressure up like this. And at the same time, I lost sight of my ghost once again, but that's what ifs. Wonder if they're gonna attack my. Okay, let's go help out. Okay, if never give up. Well, that's a lot of race, by the way. But okay, what's going on over here? I think we did it. I start getting like buy units in preparation of the Zerg. But what happened today was a good day. Okay, now we can move our SCVs there. As for over here. 
Where's my science message here? Did I lose it? Oh, it's right there. Because science vessels have a um, better range, I mean, sight range. Finally did it. Don't know how, but... Okay, there's no spider mines, right? Look right there, and that'll be the end of all these four structures. Look at so look at how many like facilities this AI has. Okay, yeah, this should be good enough. Look at that beautiful firework. And that factory got destroyed by our ghost. Okay, over here is fine. Let's go over there. Over here is doing good too. We'll start making more units. Goodness gracious, that took a long time. Alright, what's what's good here? Start making units like this, marines. Oh gosh, not like this. Okay, finally we killed, we killed them. Uh, oh boy, that's not bad. Gas is depleted, obviously. No! That's not good. Well, Teal should be dysfunctional now. Well, we need to head back to our main original base. Alright, let's get let's get out of here. Try to salvage. Salvage what's left. Maybe make a medic here. Oh, finally took care of heal, but now the experiments are loose. Did I see my command center though? Yes, she did. Get the fresh batch of base here. Uh, yeah. This place is mine also. Alright. Looks good. What about over here? I can safely say that here is done. Yep. We just need some sources of income, that's all. Which I'll start pumping out units there. 
But in the meantime, I'm gonna keep moving forward. We can't spend like all day here. This is gonna be a, a very long video, but eh. We'll start bringing in our units. And this barracks needs needs to be closer to this expander. Okay, let's explore. When I was designing this mission, uh, I originally intended like the news to like, get continuously attacked by the Zerg. Like some, I placed like some structures here that keep like spawning in intervals. But then I figured, oh, that will just make it way, way too hard, cause you you can't really get to them within like 30 minutes, cause cause of the AIs and stuff. So so in the end, I just basically said, eh, I'll just leave it alone. But the AIs will be a lot, a lot harder, which is what happened, basically. But. Okay, looks good. Alright, this factory needs to go over here too, actually. And just keep mining. This place is fine. It's strange, I... I never really got attacked over here. The, 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 whenever I played this mission, the AI would actually... focus on the... Zerg expand expansion at the top northwest northeast I mean. But uh, they did it so I mean that's good for me I guess but anyway let's venture down and try to rescue our people, our fellow ally. And while this happens, just keep making SCVs. Maybe bring an occasional Wraith to just scout that out a bit. Okay. Uh, reason why I'm setting spider mines right now before rescuing the loose because is because I think the AI actually gets more aggressive when I rescue more units down here. That's that was not what I intended, but just the AI behavior just does that for some reason. Anyway, let's bring our heroes. They've been idle for too long, so I I, I wanted to bring them a bit. And while that's happening, of course, keep making units. Here's the Lusk. Oh, they actually got attacked too. <laughs> Sir, we reached the Eiffel ship. Thank the heavens. You're right on time, gentlemen. <laughs> Looks like everyone's here is, everyone here is fine. Commander, this is Lieutenant Cooper. We are with the Lusk. Recruit Master. Awaiting further orders. That was an awkward pause that I did. That's good to hear, Lieutenant. Before you guide them out of harm's way, make sure the traitor's experiments are dis disposed of in your vicinity. Commander Reynolds, out. Shall we tell him that the traitors themselves were here before us, Kevin? I'll report that to him when we get back to HQ. Kill the experiments, the Eiffel ship must arrive. Now we get control of them. Then my men and I will be in your care. Okay, this this Luv SCV is gonna be very busy. Okay, we don't need them. We can just put the civilians in there. We have all our able-bodied men at our service now. We rescue them, so they they need to return the favor. Making marines here. And 
right, wait, 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 wait. Okay, this place is looking fine. Just need to nuke them. The good thing about against the Zerg is that they don't, you know, rebuild or repair or or whatever. So, so we should be fine. I'm gonna make some infernos just in case. The last like few waves, the Zerg AI has been more focusing on on um, on air units, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Actually, I'll, I'll bring it too. I'll bring the Infernal too, why not? And this medic can follow that Infernal too. Okay, getting all prepared up nicely. Okay, let's bring him too. Maybe more vultures. Actually, we need to keep upgrading. Probably more spider mines. We're slowly losing gas income, but you know that's to be expected. To be honest, our right, is basically worthless, so we can just continue down here. Wait for the next nuke, next nuke, and we are good. Probably more infernals to tank the. I think the watch will call it the Zerglings. And yeah, these Nidus canals are just for sure. They don't they I never use this Nidus canals for some reason. I, I have no idea why. Okay, I wanna hotkey my heroes. Oh got brewing. That's unfortunate. The Eiffel ship can also use all uh, Yamato gun. This unit is is an extending unit, which means you can't create create it in a normal map editor. Uh, getting in there 24 7 once again. Okay, we have our infernals. Continue attacking, folks! Okay, we need the rifle ship to help out. Good thing we have GM here. Oh, I've got the new dropped. Okay, while that's happening, we need more units here. Oh gosh, she needs help. Where's that medic? Okay, this is why we have a wraith here. Okay, our inferno is up here. I don't repair the rifle ship. Alright, nice, nice. Okay, our heroes have like over 20 kills. Looks good. Ready to roll, Identify target. 
forces are under attack. Need all that nuke here. We never got attacked here. Yeah, maybe we did. Oh gosh, that was good. I think I saved earlier, but recently, I mean. Whew, this is taking worse than I thought. All right, after the nuke. All right, that's good. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Did I not drop a nuke? I guess I did. Not like it matters, but Well look at look at this fire look at that fire bag. I mean Inferno. Save. I guess the Zerg sent sent um infest turn to my hero. Alright, let's prepare. Just gotta destroy all Zerg buildings though. Okay, dude, we need to take care of that too, so. Which we will, but. Oh, was it just all hatcheries and hives? I forgot. It's, it, it's been a while, to be honest. Oh, look at that. Some can call it missing so many times. Yeah, it looks good. Finally did it, just two more, not two more, like three more minutes, give or take. This is a big map, fairly big map. Our tanks do like 90 damage, that's just, just try to think about that for a sec. And yeah, that's the bridge. I was talking about the unconnected bridge. Okay, 
Okay, here's our reinforcements. Okay, what else? What else? Okay, any more units on route? Yes. I'm using scans left and right here. Okay, the infestation is gone once again. Okay, it was all buildings, I guess. Huh. So, did we take this out yet? Nope. Okay, let's get rid of this. Our Marines can take care of that. Okay, there we go. And that should be the end of it. I believe that should be it. Woo! Yikes! I pooped! Let's get out of here. But sir, what about the traitors? We should report this to the commander. I will, private. I will. Oh, mission complete. I doubt. I doubted it a little. But. Woo! Yikes. It, it was just a matter of fighting against the insane AI turn. I had to get through their blockade consistent. I mean, both the AI, both of the, both of these computers are attacking relentlessly. So I had to just do something about it. I think I played a lot better in my um, non-commentary version of this of this mission, but for this mission, but ah, uh, you know, I'm talking and stuff. I I got back from work and you know, it's just. Yeah, and it's been a long time since I last touched this mission overall, so. But yeah, but it's a lot of stuff that happened. Look at these AIs mining and using minerals, gas efficiently. Yeah, but the third one was a little bit of pain in the ass towards the end. Like trying to, like, they kept helping out their Terran masters, you know. Damn Zerg. But yeah, they're not actually, you know. We we think that these are experiments controlled by these the traders, but not really. It's it's somewhat, but it's gonna be explained more in the later later out throughout the campaign. But anyway, thanks for watching, people. Uh, tomorrow I'll try to upload, but I think I'm gonna go watch Aliens after I finish work with my friend. So probably don't know if I'm gonna upload any StarCraft videos tomorrow, but. We'll see what happens.